How to make a plaster cast with alveolar dye. First, check if the mold was well made. The teeth need to be accurately copied. So, separate the prepared tooth. A simple way to do it is by using a modeling clay. Take two small portions and insert them between the adjacent teeth. Shape the clay in the alveolar ridge region, creating a barrier. Use a thin, sharp instrument, such as a number one resin spatula, to remove modeling clay excess on the prepared tooth. It will avoid interference with the prepared tooth marginal finish. Don't let the barriers too far apart, press them a bit to keep them close. Prepare special type 4 plaster to pour only over this tooth. Use the proportions indicated by the manufacturer. For a single tooth, approximately 20 grams of plaster is enough. Place the mold on the vibrator and pour the plaster little by little with a small spatula, such as number 31 wax spatula. When completing the tooth region, you can pour a larger amount of plaster. Leave excess plaster on the ridge, as the higher this plaster, the easier it will be to make the dye. Wait for the plaster to crystallize before removing the dye from the mold. It will take around 50 minutes. After the crystallization time, carefully remove the plaster from the mold. Remove the modeling clay that is stuck to the plaster. Note that we obtained the model only from the prepared tooth. Now, let's turn it into a die. Use a thin blade, such as a number 15C scalpel blade mounted on a scalpel handle, to remove the plaster around the cervical area of the tooth, which would be the gingival margin. Expose the maximum crown of the tooth. Then, use a tungsten carbide burr for a handpiece, known as a maxicut, to cut out the cast we just made. Apply it parallel to the tooth long axis, wearing down all the plaster around the area where the tooth root would be. Do not apply the maxicut over the prepared tooth area. Make it like a cylinder under the tooth crown, but this cylinder should converge towards the cervical, as if it were a cone with the opening facing the tooth crown. If this cylinder stays straight or converges towards the occlusal, the dye will not disengage from the cast. Before proceeding, we need to remove all possible areas that could be retained in the plaster cast, which we are going to make later. Use a highly plasticized wax to fill visible bubbles. Use the hot dropper to spread the wax and doesn't keep excess on the bubbles. Furthermore, I take advantage of the hot wax to create relief on the preparation's base wall. Note that I only place the wax on the base wall without letting it run over the preparation's finish line. In the next video, you'll understand the aim of this relief. Carefully remove wax excess using a Lecron spatula for this purpose. Fit the die crown into the plaster cast, it should fit well. Take a 5mm diameter wax stick and cut it in a portion of approximately 3cm. Use the hot dropper to plasticize the wax at the stick's base and join it to the bottom of the die. Plasticize the wax around the stick to make it more stable. Now apply a plaster isolator all around the die using a soft brush. This isolator will prevent the die from adhering to the cast. 
Before pouring the plaster, create a barrier to define the cast base shape. You can use a piece of wide adhesive tape for this purpose. Fold the lower third of this tape and use the adhesive portion to wrap around the mold. Note that I cut the heavy silicone mold too much, so I'll fill this space with modeling clay to prevent the plaster from filling this space and deforming the cast. So, apply plasticized wax to the interface between the adhesive tape and the mold. This way, the wax won't run over the edges of the tape barrier. You can also use a number 7 wax plate to make this barrier. Cut the wax plate in half and wrap it around the mold. Use the dropper to plasticize the wax at the interface with the mold to join it properly. Now, prepare a larger portion of special plaster, about 40 grams, and pour it slowly using a number 31 wax spatula. Pour the plaster until it fills the entire area of the barrier that you made. Wait for the plaster to crystallize completely. Carefully remove the cast, and remove the wax or modeling clay residues that are stuck to the plaster. To release the dye, use a blunt-tipped instrument to push it out. And so, the cast with the alveolar dye is complete. In the next video, you will learn how to make your own composite resin online. And if this video was helpful to you, subscribe to this channel, give your like, and activate notifications to not miss the news. Thank you for staying with me so far, and I'll see you in the next video.